Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Premium Webinar today. It's 24th of May 2015, and we have a direct continuation of our Practical Naked Trading Webinar. As you already remember, we worked on our last Premium Webinar on the candlestick scalping and high momentum trading. Today we will cover Master Candle Counter Trend and True Breakouts Phase 2. So both of those are my proprietary methods which I also use in trading when I spot these setups. And uh, you will see how this is, this is very simple and how simple trading can be with these two great methods. Okay? Before we begin, our standard is disclaimer. Online education materials are developed by Mirror Markets as Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk you're also proceeding further with me. Other markets you can detect no responsibility for information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not the MK's opinions, and the website in the video is not a .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business and this should not be taken as advice. It's a personal opinion only and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. So with having said that, we are ready to proceed. So today's agenda, what is practical naked trading? Then we will move directly to candlestick true breakouts, then candlestick counter trend and pro tips. Okay, so pay attention to this. Basically, PNT or practical naked trading is my proprietary method, which I have created before Camarilla MACD. Uh, practical naked trading consists of candlestick high momentum trading, candlestick scalping, true breakouts, and counter trend. Okay, uh, a lot of a lot of concepts uh, in uh, practical naked trading have been adopted also in Camarilla. MACD. So uh, PNT is basically straightforward method. It's uh, very simple. It doesn't use any indicators, just use candlesticks. And uh, the core of PNT is exactly high momentum trading, candlestick scalping, true breakouts, and counter trend. Uh, before I have uh, invented Camarilla MACD, uh, practical naked trading was a little bit more of a complex uh, method. It relied on uh, manual charting of uh, important support resistance levels, uh, watching daily, weekly, monthly charts. Then there was 24 uh, bullish and 20, 22 bearish patterns which I have been observing and it was a little bit maybe it, it was overall it was a little bit complicated too much of analysis and uh, the market has changed in the meantime and uh, i stripped off uh, the most important parts in practical naked trading and basically what i got is these four different modules of pnt which is candlestick high momentum candlestick scalping true breakouts and counter trend okay so basically pnt today is one of the best moments in naked trading overall and when it's combined with camarilla macd principles it can really give you great trades great trading opportunities on every single uh, every single trading front so basically by adopting these methods and by learning candlestick high momentum candlestick scalping true breakouts and counter trend you also basically have the opportunity to learn camarilla macd principles and to also understand 
what I'm analyzing and what I have been analyzing uh, every day, especially uh, on our Monday weekly recaps. Okay. So PNT is a method used for analysis and trading. It definitely can help you in trading decision. It's pure price action. It doesn't use any indicators. Uh, concepts of some concepts, of course, are integrated into Camarilla MACD, which you, of course, read about every day uh, throughout my daily analysis and weekly recaps. And basically, PNT is also a concept of using important pivots and technical patterns. But uh, today, we will not be using any pivot points, we will just be using pure candlesticks for breakouts and counter trend trading okay so pay attention to this okay and good day to every every new trader who entered the room at this particular moment because i can see that people are still coming in so yes for all of you who are a little late to our webinar so today we talk about uh, master candle through breakout and master candle uh counter trend trading okay so you you need to pay attention to it. this is not hard but of course uh, you need to be focused okay what is a master candle concept okay uh, as you know previous premium webinar has covered the uh, master candle uh, exactly uh candlestick scalping and uh candlestick or master candle high momentum trading so master candle is definitely a concept which has been contained into every single candlestick uh i don't i cannot say books because i haven't published any books uh so far but if i ever if i ever write a book about trading uh, definitely, I will mention uh, master candle concept. So I'm known for this master candle concept si since I have started trading. So basically, what is a master candle? Uh, imagine one big candlestick, okay? One big candlestick, and uh, uh, next subsequent candlesticks are contained within high and low of this candlestick. So if you ever come into this. A uh, big candle which basically holds every at least four subsequent candles we say it's a master candle so master candle uh, is interim support and resistance candle when you see master candle you definitely know that you have the strong the strongest possible interim support and resistance levels so if you see for example this master candle and you are currently in this candle so you will know that this resistance here and this support here which are interim support and resistance levels are very strong uh, and we know that if those levels are broken there will usually 80 percent of the time we will get pips from it okay but there are some rules which needs to be respected and let's talk about these rules so master candle is interim support resistant candle a candles high and low which engulfs next four candles high and low okay that is called true breakout concept in practical naked trading so if this is high and this is low next four candles should not break high or low okay we use this concept and method on one hour chart exclusively okay so a candle high and low which engulfs next four candles high and low so this is master candle because four subsequent candles have not broken either support or resistance so this is a qualified master candle okay so this is qualified master candle 
you need to have a candle which holds in it in its high and low it holds four candles which have not broken through support or resistance so how you trade through breakout you need first to define master candle first second third and fourth candles within the master candle are called setup candles okay first second third and fourth so these candles are called setup candles now first second and third candle after the fourth setup candle need to break master candles high or low for the breakout to be valid so those are fifth sixth or seventh candle after master candle okay valid master candle on one hour chart should have in between 40 and 100 pips range depending of the pair traded buy or sell entries place three pips plus spread above or below master candle high low you should use next support resistor level for tp and no trading if the price is close to support important support resistor level this is how it looks so this candle has 70 pips in it okay so it's 70 pip master candle why it's master candle because it has one two three four subsequent candles not breaking master candle high or low now next three candles after the fourth candle should break either high or low we can see that this candle has been has broken through low okay we can put our stop loss here or there and wait for the breakout so this is a breakout and what happened is this okay another example look at this huge master candle one two three four subsequent candles are contained within these this master candle low and high now for the breakout to be valid one of the three candles after the fourth candle should break either high or low we don't know where it will go but we need to make a market order guys this cannot be done with pending orders first candle didn't break any high or low but the second candle look it broke through this master candle high this was the entry and 40 pips in an instant okay now look at this candle okay for example this candle has 40 pips in it okay it's a valid master candle i didn't count the exact pips but let's say just for the sake of course of this webinar that this candle has 40 pips in between high and low okay and you can see one two three four candle so this is valid master candle now next three candles any of those candle should break either high or low we don't know if the candle will break high or low but we basically should wait for the break again master candle high was broken so three pips plus spread in case of gbp dollar is four pips so four pips break is qualified for an entry and look at this a perfect trade so guys if you follow this master candle through breakouts there maybe won't be many many trades but those trades which are qualified will surely give you pips so pay attention to master candle breakouts okay once more for people who joined later because i can see that some people all uh, are a little bit late so i will i will uh, repeat this and then i will show you a live chart so define master candle this is your first step master candle 
is a candle which high and low engulf next four candles highs and lows. Okay, it's solely done on four hour chart. So this candle is master candle. It should have in between four, uh, 40 and 100 pips or 40 plus pips. It's easier to say. Well, if you get 36 or 35, you still can define that as master candle. But it's ideal to be more than 40 pips in it from the high to low. Next four candles should be contained within high and low of master candle. Okay. Now you go with a possible trade setup. First three candles after the fourth candle should give you an entry. Okay. That is the only, the only possible trade setup. There is no other way. Four candles within master candle. And then first, second, third candle after the fourth setup candle need to break master candle higher low for the breakout to be valid. There is no other rule. There is no exception to this rule. Okay. This is the example. 70 pip master candle high low. One, two, three, four. Four candles which are contained within high and low. Now next three candles. One of those candles. We don't know which one of that will be. So one of those candles should break either low or high. By 3 plus the spread. So if this is GBPN, and let's say that uh, GBPN spread is 2 pips. So 5 pips below this candle is set up. Obviously, this was the entry. And look what happened. Breakout. Same here. GBP dollar master candle. Big master candle. High, low. One, two, three, four. Four candles. So master candle is valid. Now we need to wait for the one of three candles break. First candle didn't break it. Second candle broke it. So our entry is four pips above because GBP dollar has one pip spread. And plus three pips, so this is four pip above this. And look at this. Same here. Same here. 40 pip or 35 pip master candle. One, two, three, four candles after the master candle. So this is valid master candle. First candle didn't break high or low. And second candle broke through its high, giving us again 40 pips. So let's see it on live chart how it looks. Okay. So again, GBP dollar. We use this example on GBP dollar. Okay. Look at dollar yen, guys. Okay. Look at dollar yen. This is master candle. I will mark it here. So this is master candle. Okay. Okay, it, it doesn't have, just for the sake of this webinar, it doesn't have 35 or 40 pips. But for example, imagine that this candle has 35 pips in it. One, two, three, four. And next candle broke through it. And look at this master candle, guys. But this master candle is valid. One, two, three, four. So this is valid master, master candle. But next three candles didn't break through any high or low so we cannot count after this candle there will no be valid setups okay there will no be valid setups because first three candles after the fourth candle one two three one of those three should have broken above or below for the trade setup to be valid Okay, you can find a lot of these examples. You need to be patient, but uh, if you search through it, you will definitely find those master candles on your chart. As I say, they are not so common, but again, if you spot it and if you trade it, usually 80% of the time you will get a successful trade, maybe even more than. 
look at this this is master candle one two three four but first second or third candle didn't break through this high so it's not valid okay uh, this could have been master candle let's see this candle here yeah it's only 17 pips so it's not valid but one two three look again well sometimes guys as you can see from live examples depending on the pair sometimes even candles with 20 pips in it if they are valid and they can yell some pips but i try I, i'm trying to find 40 pip at least or 35 pip candle yes this could be it but look at the time so it's you don't trade these guys i will i will tell you on pro tips you don't trade this during new zealand session so yes this is master candle but look at the time of this master candle it's it's uh 9 p.m. So New York has already closed, so you don't trade it. Usually, the best time to trade is during the first three hours of each session. You know about it, that guys. First three hours of each session, okay? This could be a master candle breakout. Okay. Let me click. Let me just drop this. No, this pending order. But this one. Okay, I will not touch this. Okay, this is Master Candle. We can count this as double bottom. So one, two, three, four. Okay? One, two. So this could have been a breakout. Okay, this could have been a breakout but only seven or eight pips yeah this was early morning but again seven eight pips i usually don't go below 10 pips so minimum 10 pips for target after a break minimum 10 pips i recommend after 15 pips of profit you should trail the stop after 15 pips of profit guys trail the stop and grab some pips Usually you will get instant pips out of it, but you need to pay for the attention to the time. You don't trade this New Zealand late session. Just go for a major session, okay? And you can trade this on every pair. It doesn't matter. I usually watch for major pairs, but basically you can trade this on any pair. It doesn't matter, okay? It's very easy to spot it once you learn the concept behind it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking through this. This could have been master candle if this candle low didn't break this low. Okay, let's see. This could have been also master candle, but look, it only break. This could have been master candle, but this low has broken there. Okay, this could have been master candle, but this high. So you need to scan through these setups. Usually there will be good trading setups. Usually there will, there will be okay, setups. Uh, it would be good if we had some, of course, expert advisor for this. But guys, I'm not a coder, so I don't know how to code. But if any, any of you know how to code expert advisor for this, just send me an email. I will be testing it. It's it's pretty much simple, so it won't be hard for us to test. But we would need to apply some, of course, filters to it. But there, sometimes there will be very very good setups if those setups happen. Okay, Co uh, here it is. Here it is master can look at almost every single trade is in profit when you spot it okay this is seven o'clock so two more hours valid 
seven o'clock my time yes it is but look at this basically this setup happened at tokyo open so it's good look at the timing three o'clock tokyo open look instant 40 pips one two three four candles and third candle broke so yes guys well if some one of you know how to code expert advisor for this then just skype me or tell send me an email we will go through this. so this can also look great setup one two three four candle so this is a valid master candle one uh two three third candle breakout bang 40 pips okay so one two three four just count at this guys this is master candle look it has a lot of pips almost 80 pips 90 pips one two three four four candles after this candle are contained so this is master candle one two third candle okay third candle broke here and this is 40 pips win okay 40 pips win uh, rob i don't understand what do you mean by consecutive setup this is master candle setup this is master candle okay this is master candle because this candle has one two three four candles after it contained within high and low okay this is not master candle this is not master candle and yes this is if you mean by this candle indeed i was yes yes rob yes this is another consecutive setup one two three four candle look and break out there yes so another master candle here okay stop loss is usually put in this example but it's the same so if this is breakout this is where you put stop loss three pips plus the spread usually five pips below this previous low so this is previous low and in this breakout okay one two three four so the second candle broke out i would put stop loss here five pips above this candle that is aggressive stop loss but you can always go with low risk and put stop loss somewhere here or there but i don't i don't use it really i i go with a with aggressive setup so previous high or low i use that for stop loss placement so this is also break look how good this principle is one two three four candles and second candle broke down giving you 40 pips again so that is what i have created some time ago it was back in the days when i was trading uh naked trading charts but guys still it's it's useful in in these market conditions i have been revising some of my uh, teachings from the 2008 and 9 and basically uh, the thing is uh, one of the first things i have learned when i started to trade price action was master candle concepts and you can see that the concept is still valid and it can bring you many many pips but as i say guys it's not everyday setup it's not everyday setup so if you if you scan through the charts you can find always always look for this master candle yes uh, i usually went with 40 pips and above but uh, of course it's it's still a subject to changes maybe for dollar yen we could go we could go with 20 or 25 pip candle for uh, gbpn maybe a little bit more so yes uh, it depends on volatility but if you want to have an average mean or you want it as i can say as an average then usually 35 or 40 pip is enough but today i will even go with 35 pip candle on major pairs of course minor pairs should be but i need to state to one thing guys i have mostly traded this on major pairs euro dollar pound dollar yen 
dollar Swissy when I traded dollar Swissy. I, today I don't trade dollar. I don't trade Swissy pairs at all. But euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, uh, Australian dollar. Those were the pairs uh, which I traded, and those have been the pairs which I I I've been trading. Because uh, the thing is, I still trade these setups when I spot it. So, but mostly on major pairs. Of course, you can try to see how it goes on on. Uh, minor pairs but i advise you to trade and use it on major pairs of course dollar cad also dollar cad so watch for it okay so guys it's pretty simple as you can see and you know my 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 uh adage how i say keep it simple okay so i always try to keep things simple now let's cut to the chase i want i don't want to bother you it's sunday and I don't to bother you. Don't want to bother you with definitions and those kind of things. Let's move on to candlestick counter trend. Okay, how it goes? Pretty straightforward, guys. But you need a little bit more focus for this and a little bit more experience maybe for this. But I will show you how I do it. Open four-hour chart. Then press Control Epsilon on empty platform to mark previous days. When you press Control Epsilon or control y in english alphabet let's call it control y i don't know how many of you are english speakers but it's it's y in english it's epsilon in, in other cultures but let's call it y so control y on mt4 will mark previous days price action zero zero midnight okay so Mark it, that is very important, because you will get a quadrant. I call it a quadrant. Mark previous day swings, so watch out for previous quadrant, and mark daily highs and lows. Include double tops and bottoms. Then open M15 chart. Wait for the price to touch previous swings. Remember this, this is counter trend of, uh, trading. Wait for the pin bar rejection, so you need to know what a pin bar is. You know all because you have been following my webinars. Pin bar is, it looks like this. This is bearish pin bar. This is bullish pin bar. And open the trade after it. So guys, let's say that, look at this, where, where my curs cursor is, red, red dot. This is the day where we trade, okay? So we want to mark previous quadrant. So press Ctrl Y, you will get these lines on MT4. They will mark 00 to 00, 00 price action. One day of price action is contained within these lines. So let's assume that we are trading from this part. So we need to see what previous swings were. I do this by my hand. So guys, this is high, this is low. Immediately mark high and low so this is high this is low this is a swing this is a swing mark most obvious swings okay open your 15 minutes and look at this if this was a little bit more to the upside five pips from this level pin bar would be qualified entry but here we have a qualified entry which gave us something more like 15 to 20 pips depending on your entry okay so rejections should happen five pips at least okay five pips at least sorry at the maximum five pips at maximum from previous swings okay look at this for example we want to trade this particular day look where the vertical red line is okay mark previous quadrant swings daily low daily high these are the swings and what is very important guys always watch for these kind of swings look at this look at this okay so this was resistance and here it turned to support so watch for these kind of support resistance lines okay always watch for these 
support or resistance lines. These are very, very important. Okay. So mark previous swings. And look at this. Look at this perfect rejection. 60 pips possible. Okay. Look at another rejection. For some, 20 pips. Look, and even if you go there, but it's another day, the price if if you if you have watched it uh, in past time this, you would you'd have seen that the price have already gone up after this dotted line so this is very important this is counter trend and this is naked trading you don't use any indicators you can see it clearly mark previous quadrant and look for highs and lows watch for important swings always guys watch for these kind of swings these are the best swings always guys these kind of swings as this one look pin bar here pin bar there look touches this is very important level here it looks like this and it looks like this okay and look at the rejection there look pin bar rejection i know this can be a little bit maybe harder for you but that is how the things go okay yes i will show the process of creating the chart right now this is how you create your charts guys i will go through this Press Control Epsilon. First, open four hour time frame. So open four hour time frame. Press Control Y, and this is it. Okay. Now you this is our, for example, trading day. So we need to mark previous quadrant swings. We always start from high and low. So this was previous days high, and previous days low was here now mark the swings so this is obvious look at the most important swing guys this is the most important swing i i have shown you this already these kind of swings look like this this is it look so this is very important swing previous day swing this is also a swing it corresponds to double bottom from previous quadrant. Always watch for, as I say, double bottoms. D double top, sorry. This is double top. But it's tri triple top if you watch even previous quadrants. So this is very important swing. Okay. This Look at this. Again, important swing here. Look at this touch and this touch here. So you, you have, again, this kind of pattern. So this is very important for you. I don't know why control and epsilon doesn't or why it doesn't work. It works. It should work, guys, on your chart. It's MP4. You need to press control, hold control, and then press Y. It should work. And look at this. These are very important swings, guys. Look. Now let's see if there was any rejection. M15. <laughs> guys, what can I say? What do you see here? Look. Look at the rejection. 15 minute time frame. Straight. So that is how you do counter trend trading. That is how you do true breakouts. And these are practical naked concepts which have been adopted to suit trading in these market conditions. The only subject to change is maybe in true breakouts that range. I'm, st I'm still holding on to 35, 40 plus range, but uh, we can modify i will maybe test a little bit more but usually on major 35 40 pips is enough for master candle 
this is the concept for counter tra trading. You can see how it goes. And you can see it's pretty straightforward. Let's use another example. And then, guys, we can, I can answer your questions if there are any questions. So Australian dollar, we are here in this quadrant. Yes, 15-minute entry is always done on 15-minute time frame. There is no exception to the rules. Okay. Four hour, let's see. Previous days high, previous days, previous quadrant, you can call it low. Important swings. Here, another one. You need to a little bit more of uh, experience, but you will get onto it. You don't need always to be very precise, but you need to be, you need to mark those because those will be important. We can think, let's see what I see here. Yes, this one is also very important. So this region here also. Okay. Let's see 15 minutes. Yeah, below, well, I, I'm not now so precise because I need to focus on the time. Uh, okay, well, do we have another swing here? Yes, we have here double bottom sort. Yes. Even here we have, we have a lot of, lot of price action on this pair. Okay, let's see if there were some rejections. You go counter trend. So, guys, you don't go in trend direction. So, you don't trade these rejections because you need to trade rejection down, not to the upside. Okay. Okay. This is your entry. Very clearly seen on the chart. This is your entry here. Okay. And look where the price went. Okay. This is obviously the only single entry. But usually these entries are also precise. This is counter trend. So this is your entry. Pin bar rejection. So you don't go, you uh, watch, watch this. You don't trade trend. This is counter trend. Okay, so you don't go long. You wait for short trades. This can even be a short trade trigger. This candle and this candle. These are short trade triggers. Okay. Very, very obvious. Usually five to 10 pips from previous low is enough to place your stop on 15 minute time frame. Okay? So your stops will not be big, but guys, 12 pips stop loss is nothing. I don't, I, I rarely make stop loss, which is less than 25, 30 pips. But well, because I always trade with, with low risk, 0 0.3 risk, 0 0.5 risk. Sometimes when I scalp I, I scalp, I can use a little bit more of a risk, but uh, usually it's low risk. So look at this. This is your entry, this and this. Okay. So this is what I, what I do, and this is what I teach, and this is what uh, you should try at home, and this is what definitely can help you in your trading okay so if you have any questions now i am willing to answer uh where can i watch part one uh Aiton, ask admiral market support but i think that if you go uh on youtube channel there is admiral markets youtube channel and uh, you can type uh, practical naked trading or pnt and there will be a part one about candlestick scalping a high momentum trading. So I think the answer to a question is Admiral Markets YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's on YouTube. Douglas is saying it's on YouTube. So exactly, guys. Uh, tomorrow we will have a weekly Forex recap. 
last week recap gave us something like 60 pips it's not much i know but considering how price action was unfriendly to traders it's good that we had at least i don't know those 60 pips possible because as you remember last week there was uh, an announced and unannounced news basically which was published uh, later during the london session and then euro dollar dropped like a stone but uh, 1285 rejection was the only rejection that, that gave you the pips i will show you results tomorrow but 3035 pips was possible from 20 12 sorry 85 rejection euro dollar uh, pound was a loss so all other trades were winners for some 20 30 pips but uh, and i think that there was a trade which wasn't qualified that was dollar yen but still guys considering how last week was it was not friendly to traders uh, we it's good that we have a positive result okay so sign in for tomorrow weekly recap and uh, i don't see any questions for this webinar practical naked trading uh, i assume that everything is clear as as you guys are following me so you have uh, and I'm very glad that you have the experience, which is enough to basically for you to understand these concepts. It's, it's not hard, but of course it takes practice and it takes some time for you to adopt this. But go on, feel free to adopt the strategies and feel free to, to try it first on demo charts. And then if you are confident, you can go with live trading. Uh, so guys i don't know how you you cannot make vertical lines okay let's go with blank template i always use blank and let's for example put this a new zealand dollar okay and press four hour i just press Control epsilon and you can see it here yes okay uh no 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 no. maybe i didn't uh, state it correctly this is why i call it previous quadrants so yes rob you can see the price action it's it starts from 18 till yes it's seven days but that is why i call it previous quadrant so yes you just press ctrl epsilon you don't use it on hourly use it on four hour there is no exception to the rule so this is previous quadrant okay Yes, previous week, exactly. It's previous week, but use it solely on four hour. And it's good. It's it's seven days of price action, zero, zero to zero, zero. And it's actually called previous quadrant price action. So when you want to mark this, you go on previous quadrant, okay? Swings on previous quadrant, okay? You, you know how to define swings. So this is great actually control plus y okay do not be confused with these lines it should work on every single mt4 okay mark the swings and enjoy the price action and trade it only counter trend only counter trend okay Ha, Eitan is saying, thank you for every webinar. Euro Japanese was great and pronounced my name exactly as it sounds. Yes, Eitan. Well, <laughs> I know how to pronounce your name, Eitan, exactly. So, thank you. You're welcome. What can I say? Euro Yen was great trade. Yes, if you follow it on Admiral Markets, Euro Yen uh, re uh, rejection from uh, 35 exactly it was 134 35 i think or hey it was it was good 100 pips possible so guys i hope that you have enjoyed the analysis of course i'm here with you every day and every week so i will help you always with your 
trading. Ah, well, sometimes if there is a stop loss, that is why, guys, we use stop loss. We never trade without a stop loss. Okay. And tomorrow, be sure to sign for weekly recap to review past week. And once more, when you see big volatility coming in or some unexpected news, guys, if you are in the profit, please use trailing stop. I always use trailing stop after I'm in profit and there is a news announcement. Because if I don't protect myself, that news can hit stop loss. And that happened with Euro dollar. It fell to 1285, it rejected, but then news kick in and it was dropping like a stone. Sometimes those things can happen. And that is why we use stop loss, to stop our losses. And that is why you don't trade with 20 or 10 percent per trade risk. You use lower percent and you will always be fine. Okay. So, yes, Euro Yen was great. New Zealand dollar also rejected. Uh, we had some possible trades on dollar Yen, but unfortunately, dollar Yen was not qualified. But again, it touched the level. But uh, I think that this next week will be great because uh, I have good setups on Euro dollar pound and others you sign in for sign in for a weekly recap tomorrow and you will see so guys i hope this is clear it's still clear and let's see uh and now the question is uh primoz is asking why would this setup presented today not work in trend direction because primoz we don't we do not trade this in trend direction the only thing I have tested it is M15 four hour counter trend. And uh, I don't break the rules. Only test testing was done and trading, not testing, real time trading was done using pin bar rejections because pin bar rejections are counter trend if they reject from the support or resistance. So I never go in trend direction with this setup. And yes, patience always. Uh, Ilya is saying yes, tomorrow is holidays in Europe. So, guys, tomorrow there won't be a lot of trading. Do not bother with trading tomorrow. But starting from Tuesday, the trading will resume normally. Exactly, Ilya. DEX is closed. Tomorrow, London is closed. Wall Street is closed. So, Monday will not be used for trading, but it will be used for setups during next three days. Okay? Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. Yes, there will not be a big movement, low movement will be, but I don't want to trade during bank holidays because banks do not protect levels of support resistance. Market makers can make some something out of it, but I will wait for Tuesday to basically post to basically enter the trades. But of course, tomorrow weekly recap will be used for Tuesday and Wednesday movement. So, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for your comments. I will be with you soon. Practice this. And let's see how next week will be for us. I wish you a great evening and talk to you tomorrow. Cheers. Trade safe.